Xiaomi Hyper OS Top 10 Plus Visual Changes you need to know as this is better than MIUI 14 and how and which are the major differences you will find if you use Hyper OS on your device. Some of the things I will talk about in this video stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get quickly to some of the features here. First one is the UI change in silent mode and the do not disturb mode. Whenever you turn on or turn off the silent mode or do not disturb mode, you can see this is how the animation is looking like. Basically a cheap dynamic island, exactly it is looking like that. Not exact dynamic island, but I mean, it's just user's opinion. A lot of users will love this. A lot of users will not. It depends upon your preference. Secondly, if I move on to the sound and touch options in additional settings, you have the option for the volume adjustment. We also have some system sounds. These things were actually available already, but the things, the placement is a bit changed here. The option named as volume adjustment was available somewhere else. And we also have sound effects. Now we have Xiaomi sound effects available. I mean, if you use the Redmi K40, Poco F3, we have the Dolby Atmos inbuilt and there were many other devices too. But now we have the Xiaomi sound. Although my device is having this ported room, that is why things are a bit different here as if you're using official Xiaomi Hyper OS. If we moved on battery options in security settings, you will notice the current mode option has four options available, performance mode, balanced, battery saver and ultra battery saver. And it also brings you the nighttime mode option in this case. In MIUI, this option was not present, but the option to change the mods were already there, but the UI was a bit different. One of the main highlights of using HyperOS was the lock screen and is lock screen have a lot of customizations for you in case you don't know you can customize the time you can customize the date you have the option to customize the UI almost everything is what you can customize and you know that where this feature is inspired from. Firstly, with iOS 16, iPhone, or basically Apple released that with the lock screen customizations, then Google Android 14 gave you some lock screen clock options, but in Xiaomi, with the Hyper OS release, things are there where you have some lock screen customizations. And I don't think so, it is, it is that bad. I mean, it's looking good. For some users, it might doesn't look good, but for, my, for, now, for me, it is looking so good for now. And this is the initial stage I'm using right now. The lock screen looks good. We have many options to customize. We have many options for the UI things. You have the option to choose the depth effect wallpapers. If you have some wallpapers, which brings you depth effect UI looks so nice. You have the option to customize the colors. You have the option to customize the styles. There are many things which you can do and customize like this. This is how the UI is looking like with the lock screen. If you choose to install some other things on a device, you can do that by clicking on wallpaper. And and there are many wallpapers included. One of my favorite is this one. This is already included here and this looks good if you use a depth effect wallpapers. In my personal opinion, I just love this thing. In my previous video where I have shown you Hyper OS, unfortunately I was not able to show you the launcher here. But in this case, if you want to take a look at the launcher, we have don't show text option available. We have range items in recents where the blur app previews and show memory status is of course, some placement things are changed. UI and features are already there, but some of things are here and there. Same like that, if we move on to control center, we have a new control center UI as compared to MIUI. Um, not a major change, but could be a major change. It depends upon you, but how you find it useful. But if you want, if you are able to notice the animations, the animations are a bit changed if you hold the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth tile. Same like that, the charging animation, Whenever you plug your device into charging with BUI 1314, I guess the UI was same charging animations were different. But in this case, same like the silent mode or that do not disturb mode charging UI is looking like this. If we move on to other options in HyperOS, the default apps UI is also changed, including the themes, including the file manager, including the calculator. There are many apps available at all the apps UI. Uh, UI is basically changed. Security app is also there. And if I move on to the other options here, file manager. File manager is having this kind of UI. At the bottom, we have these options available. If you click on more, this is how the UI is looking like. Clock, compass, a lot of apps, a lot of system apps are redesigned as expectedly. Calculator also have some UI changes. These are the things included here. Even the weather app is also changed if you go and check it out. 
we also have some new wallpapers included in MIUI 14 some new wallpapers were available but with this hyper OS some new wallpapers are available too this is one of my favorite but if you use depth effect wallpapers if you don't use depth effect and on your lock screen then this could not be that good but if you use depth effect then this could be a good choice for you other than else if you move on anywhere in settings or etc you will find some ui changes available here and there overall it's about ui revamped in hyper os as compared to miui if you want to know more about the miui versus hyper os i will make a video on that thing very very soon but this was about hyper os some major features or major changes i just wanted to let you know i've already shared with you thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye